Casey Sanchez. I'm 28 years old from Immokalee, Florida, and this is my story. So my story begins back in, back from May 2015. Um, I found out I was pregnant with my third child, Lee Asia. Um, started going to the doctors really early, probably when I was about eight weeks pregnant. Um, first visit, you know, any other visit when you go, you know, to your maternity um, appointments, they did, you know, ultrasound, hear heartbeat, those sorts of things. Everything seemed to be fine. Um, throughout the pregnancy, everything was, you know, pretty steady. I had to take some extra medication from the very start, um, only because of the previous miscarriages I had. Um, back when I was probably about six months pregnant, um, my doctor kept measuring me, measuring my stomach, um, up until I was about 30 weeks pregnant. I was about 30 weeks pregnant. Um, my OBGYN told me she was going to send me to a high risk doctor. She said that my stomach was measuring too small. So at that point, I really didn't think too much of it. Um, when I turned 32 weeks, I began seeing the high risk doctor. Um, only for them to tell me that things, the measurements were coming off a little short for the Asia. So that being that her head circumference was measuring too small for the age that she was. Um, her stomach was really, really small. Um, things weren't growing right. So from 33 weeks, I had to start seeing the doctor every, they wanted me seeing her every two weeks. So I began to go. Throughout this time, I felt like I felt so alone. I started to have anxiety. I started to feel like, why was this happening to me? Why was this happening to my child? I started feeling like I, I couldn't handle things. Everything that was being thrown at me, they started giving me a whole bunch of different um, things that were going to happen when she was born, telling me what I would need to do, what I would need to do for her, those different things. I started feeling like there was no way I would be able to do it. Um, so it just began right there at 33 weeks. I, you know, every week driving to that doctor and every day that I would go on my way there, I just started, I would always feel so anxious. I would always get so nervous. I'd be so shaky. My grandma Mary, who mentally helped me get through so much, I um, would call her on my way there every single time. I would call her and tell her I'm on my way to see the doctor. And I would hear her tell me every single time is, don't worry, leave it in God's hands. Everything's going to be okay. No matter what the doctor says, you know that God is with you each and every step. He's taking care of you and the baby and everything's going to be fine. But in that time, I felt so alone. I just felt like God wasn't there for me. I felt like this wouldn't be happening to me if he was there. And... You know, I'd go in and each and every appointment from 33 to 36 weeks. And those three weeks, I got bad news. And every single time, it was more bad news. Um, on my 35th week, I went in and the doctor says, if you don't go into labor by the time you're 37 weeks, we're going to have to, you know, bring you in because at this point, we can do more for your baby outside the womb than you're doing for her, you know, while she's in. So that after that visit, I just, you know, started trying to do what my grandma told me to do, you know, trust God. But it was just so hard. It was so, so hard. And throughout these weeks, which was only like four weeks, I just felt, you know, so many different emotions. Like I was scared. I was anxious. I just... You know, like I felt alone. I felt like God wasn't there for me. So then I was 36 weeks and like five days was the last time I seen her, seen that doctor. 
They said, you know, the next time you come in, we're going to have to schedule a C-section or schedule you to get induced. And so after I left that day, I prayed. I prayed. And I just asked God to, to guide me and to be with me and to give me the strength that I needed. And I asked him to forgive me for doubting him and to forgive me for questioning him or questioning why I was going through that. Because I know that anything he puts me through is because he knows I can handle it. So my next appointment, they wanted to see me right when I was 37 weeks and like three days. So it was only like five days later, five or six days later. It's February 3rd. I had my appointment card. I had it sitting there on my dash, waiting every day, you know, after I left that day. February 3rd, at around 5.50 in the morning, I woke up and I was contracting very, very bad. And I went to the hospital and they said, you're in labor. So needless to say that I didn't make it to that appointment where they wanted to schedule that C-section or induction. And I had my baby natural. I had, I had no complications. Everything went smooth. And I gave birth to a six pound, three ounce baby. And everything, everything that they told me would be wrong with her was not. All the worry that I had, all the anxious thoughts, all the fear that I was scared of of what my baby was going to have to deal with when she came to this earth, that I was going to have to deal with my family, it was all gone. So by sharing my story, I just want to tell all the mothers that no matter what it is those doctors say, no matter what it is you're going through, what those medical reports say, you have to trust God. And even when you don't trust him or you feel like he's not there, he is there. And I'm a living testimony to that because he was there for me, even when I doubted him. And to this day, my baby is a year and a half old. She doesn't see any specialists. Her stomach is fine. Her measurements are fine. She's got nothing wrong with her. She's never seen a specialist a day in her life. Um, other than her ear, she had ear tubes, but that's for ear infection, so that's, you know, nothing that they had determined would be wrong with her. It just happens. So I just want to let all you young mothers and even, you know, any mother know that if you're going through anything while you're pregnant, you know, during your pregnancy, if you get told something that makes you feel like, you're going, like you're going to go through something bad or something bad's going to happen when, once the baby's here. Yes, I know doctors went to school and did what they did for, you know, what they do now. And they do help us with many, many things that happen. But God is always in control. And God was in control the whole time I doubted him, the whole time that I feared something would be wrong. Because that's what I was being told. So I just want you all to know that. My baby is healthy, I'm healthy, and this is what I wanted to share. Now I would like to read this verse from the Bible. It's Philippians 4, 6, and 7. It says, do not worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. So what that means to me is just that if you trust in him and you leave your worries and everything in his hands, he will get you through it. Everything that you go through, you can pray about it. He's listening and he's there every step of the way for whatever it is that you go through. So I would like to thank my grandmother, Mary Sanchez, because like I've always, I tell her all the time, but she's like my angel here on earth. She, I know she prays for me day in and day out. Um, she's always there for me, and Grandma, I just want to say thank you, and I love you. I also want to thank Sean, my children's father, um, throughout the whole time uh, that I was going through that, anytime, all the time, and I kept telling him I couldn't do it, and I, I just felt like giving up. He always pushed me and, you know, told me not to give up, and that everything was going to be fine, so I want to say thank you, and I love you. 
And last but not least, I want to thank my parents. Um, you guys dealt with me going through that whole thing, you know, almost my entire pregnancy. And I'm, you know, all the late nights waking you guys up when I was just very, very anxious or anything and everything I went through, you guys were there for me. And I want to say thank you. Um, thank you for raising me to be who I am and for always pushing me to believe in God and to know that he's there for me. I also just want to say thank you to all my siblings, you know, throughout everything I went through. Um, you guys, no matter if it was just a text in the morning to say you love me or anything, whatever it was, um, you guys always, you know, uplifted me, even if you know you didn't or I didn't tell you you did at that moment. Um, everything I went through, all you guys were there for me. I want to say thank you. I love you guys. All of you guys. To all my, my family, my cousin Alex, um, everybody's been there for me through a very rough time. My cousin Alex was also there for me, you know, day in and day out. Um, while I was going through what I was going through, I want to say thank you and I love you. Pastor Josh and Miss Lindsay, um, throughout that pregnancy, getting all that bad news, anytime I message them, text them, even call them and, you know, just let them know that I needed prayer needed anything, they, they always did it. So Pastor Josh and Miss Lindsay, I want to thank you guys too for always praying for me and, and always uplifting me when I, when I was really, really down. Um, to the church, I love you guys all, um, my church family. Um, and I just like you guys to keep me and my family in your prayers. Um, you know, just general, for every general day life. Um, and thank you all for praying for me.